All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to vast import into Roblox with Blender. And the way I'm doing it, I'm I'm doing it on Blender 2.79, but it's generally universal for all Blenders mostly that I know of. So I hope this helps, but we might it might not. I don't know. So you would open Blender. You get you know you get the blend your normal Blender thing. So just click it and make it disappear, and then delete everything. So A control or shift x once you have everything deleted go to file import obj or whatever your file is and then click the car so i'm just going to be doing a um 600 lt okay so let me just delete these this is for myself just because of how i do the models So first you want to make sure everything's under 10,000 try or tris or however you say it. So right here is the try count. The total car is 32,000. So to check you just click the part you want to check. Then you press tab and it will tell you right here 14,000. If it's something like this, as you can see, the paint isn't supposed to be the same as the splitter. It's supposed to the paint something else and the splitter is black. So you click P by material. Never do it by loose parts or it creates a trillion million million trillion loose parts and you're never gonna get it. You can only have a max of two hundred parts, so the material's best way. So then you check again. Five thousand, so we're good. Nine thousand. The limit for Roblox is ten thousand, so we're just underneath the limit. So you do that for everything, you check everything everything's under ten thousand try. See, this is 13,000. P, material, windows, body, 10,000 or 1,000. Then you check the interior. If it has a driver, remove the driver. Check the interior, 2,000, so there's nothing to separate, but I'm still going to do it. <laughs> then the wheels. And the wheels. It has a cube in it, so let me delete that. For the wheels, I usually like to um, mesh split, uh, separate them too because some some decals come with the the tire decal different than the rim decal, so I like to delete it. And then I like to delete the brake pads as you generally don't need them. You just take your suspension off or make it not visible. But once you have everything separated, you press A. And you see everything's highlighted. Okay, everything's highlighted. You go to File, Export, OBJ. Then you save it as whatever you want to save it as. So I'm going to save it as 600LT. Then you go over here. If you're using 2.79, if you're using 2.8, I think it's up here where, where my mouse is. So you, you look for your operator presets. You do selection only. You scroll down, you unselect as as objects, and you do as groups. Then you do export OBJ. So once that's done, you open Studio. You you publish the thing. So you go to first. You gotta go to game. Publish. So publish it. Create new game. Create. Close. And then you see this, all this stuff, you do import. Then you look for your model, so mine's in documents, 600 LT. You uncheck these two boxes and make sure nothing's checked. Then apply. You do a, a, mesh, a mesh splitting. And then it's going to import. Just got to wait. It's going to say texture not found most of the time. That's because there's no texture uploaded for it. So don't worry about that.
once it's finished, you can close it. You go to over here to mesh it, meshes. You select it all. Insert with location. This, it may lag your computer. It may take a minute to load. Once it's in, you click Control G, and then you can move it around. Control G groups it, or Command G, I think it is, if you're on Mac. But that's how you group everything. And now you can scale it and make it to whatever size you want it to be. And then you could just start editing the parts. So what I generally like to do is select everything from the model. You just oops. You just push push it. Oops. You push, you click the bottom one, and then you click, you hold shift and go to the top, so it selects everything. Make it smooth plastic. Reflectance 0.15, transparency 0 0.001. It's also a good idea to put a good skybox. So you just go to studio and look up car sky box. This is the best one that I know of that is free. Put it in and it makes the car look amazing. And you put it, you put a color to it, it looks amazing. So then you can start importing your, your decals. I'll make another video for that. And you put them in, and then you put your car on a chassis, and that's it.